Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Xenogears! Before going into the tournament and all that, I want to show off how you're supposed to know how to get to that treasure chest that was in the fish tank in the restaurant. So, let's see, we gotta go to the Shikan Square here, and let's see, I didn't talk to any of the NPCs, but one of them is the one that I'm looking for. Let's see, okay, so we got this kid here. I don't know if you have to talk to them first, but that's how you're supposed to know that the kid wants some of the toys here, so just buy one of them or whatever, and then you can give it to the kid. Not that 80 gold is that much, so I'm not worried about the loss. And then he'll tell you the secret about that chest there. Oh, really? Huh. Well, that's one way to keep people from getting at it. Although how you would get it yourself, I don't know. Oh, okay. So, yeah, when we're going through the underground waterway, which we'll be doing in just a moment, uh, there's a way you can get into the fish tank from down below. So, and I'll show you that when we get to that point. It's totally worth it. But alright, okay, so we got everything done. We've got Faye registered for the tournament. We've got, what else? Well, I got the iron helmets that I wanted. We got the well key. Once you've got all that, come back here. And you can talk to either Sitan or... Bart, I don't think it matters which one, and once you're ready, you can get some rest. So I think this is the no turning back point. I don't think you can leave the city anymore. So hopefully you've taken care of everything. Also, by the way, as far as Satan goes, he's not going to be participating in any battles. So if you haven't removed his equipment... You probably should do so now. Oh, yeah, I suppose so. Well, we'll do the best we can. No, nope, we're good. So, we're going to be starting off with Faye on his part. He's going to be participating in the tournament, while Bart is going to be going through the sewers. So that way he can sneak into the castle there. And I don't know what Sakan's going to be doing. I mean, I guess he's going to be, you know, making sure everything goes smoothly or whatever. But, okay. Just want to keep an eye on things. Okay, so since we're already registered for the tournament, just talk to the guards. We can pass on through nice and easy. Oh. Um. Yeah, I suppose you're going to be looking at a bunch of amateurs here. <laughs> and my dad says that when you get old, you don't so much lose strength, just endurance. At least that's what I've heard. Oh, well, whatever works for you. So where can you bet on these fights? Maybe I could... Here, we could have Satan make some bets on the fights. Make some money on the side, you know? But now I don't think we can gamble on these fights. At least not to my knowledge. What do you mean, Joe? Oh, he's gonna be here too? Huh. Man, that guy's everywhere, isn't he? <laughs> How hard could he possibly be? Oh. Well, isn't Shikan the king now? I'm guessing that soldier means the former king, Fatima. Oh. Thanks, I guess. 
Oh, so you're a philosopher then, huh? Hmm, who's Weissman? Or maybe it's a German, Weissman. I knew someone who had that last name. I want to move on to other NPCs. Oh, no, of course not. Now you're just talking crazy. <laughs> I keep on saying that in this LP. <laughs> oh, that would be me. So that's it? You're just cheering? You got some sensu beans? Nah. Nah, we don't have that. But, yeah, what Satan means is you want to win the fights, but you, you don't want to do it too quickly, but you don't want to do it too slowly either. If you take forever to win these fights, then by the time Bart gets into the castle, there will still be a whole lot of guards left in the castle there. And if you win them too quickly, then all the fights will be over, and before Bart gets into the castle and some of the guards will start coming back, I think. Something like that. And also... But yeah, the idea is to win the fights at a somewhat reasonable pace. Yeah, I've met you before. But yeah, you want to win them quickly enough so that by the time Bart gets into the castle, a lot of the guards will have left, so you probably want to be in the third or fourth round by the time Bart gets there, so that way most of the guards will be gone by then. Well, no, of course not. You get all the best gender-exclusive equipment in JRPGs. Or that. Speaking of which, there actually is a lot of gender-exclusive equipment in this game. There's, like for body armor and headgear, there's male-exclusive equipment, female-exclusive equipment, and then there's equipment that both genders can equip there. Uh, gen generally speaking, gender-exclusive equipment is going to be better than universal equipment. So, just something to keep in mind there. Although, since our party is just the boys right now, we don't really have many options. Oh, hey! What are you doing here? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. I, I thought we were past that already. Is that in the rules? I don't think you can do that. Sweep the leg, Dan! Whoa! Okay. Calm down. Besides, how far could he possibly make it in the tournament? <laughs> oh, yeah, evidently. Nice face, dude. Oh, well, I'm sure it won't come down to that. But how do you know my name? My real name? I was just using, like, a, a nickname or something. Hmm. Eh, it's probably not important. I wouldn't worry about that guy. Aren't you supposed to already be ready? Oh, yeah, sure, why not? Nuts. Yeah, he'll be fine. What's the worst that could possibly happen? Now, there's a few entrances that you can actually use to get through the sewers. I'm going to be taking the longest one, not just to give Faye more time, 
but also because, well, we can get more treasure if we do it that way. And there's some pretty good stuff we can get. And let's see. Well, fortunately, the entrance into the sewers is... Where is it? Uh, it's right next to the hotel. Right over here. Whee! So now what's going to be happening is we're going to be fighting in the tournament with Faye. And then after each round, we'll switch back to Bart, who will be going through the sewers and stuff. And then the next round of the tournament starts, and so on and so forth. It'll go back and forth like that. All this dialogue is proceeding automatically, so if it's going too fast for you, well, there's not a whole lot I can do about it. Oh, um, yeah, do the best I can. Good for you. Oh, but we only have two chairs. Are they... Well, someone's gonna stand. Or Ramses just couldn't like watching the tournament. Oh. Well, I thought you just got here. Why would you just come here and then leave? Hmm. Okay. I like how they provide some characterization for the villains before we meet up with them. Spoiler alert! We're going to be confronting the villains sooner or later! Oh. Well, you can stay and watch if you like. What do you mean? He's in charge. I would think that would make it his country. Or not. Ah, okay. I was like, wait, how long is it going to take for this thing to start? So yeah, the only rounds that we're actually going to be seeing are the ones that Faye is involved with. Hmm. Well, Miang seems to have taken an interest in Faye. Eh, I wouldn't worry about it, but... Okay, so, for these fights, I want to use... Uh, death blows here so I can get through them reasonably quickly, but like I said, not so quickly that I win the whole tournament before Bart gets into the castle. So I recommend just using your strongest death blows, but don't buff yourself up to deal more damage because then the fights will last or be too quick. But let's see. Oh yeah, the Iron Valor buff. Yeah, that boot buffs buffs your attack stat, not your defense, like I misspoke earlier. But what I did say was true about the defense, where uh, there's another buff that Faye gets later on that buffs your attack, but debuffs your defense, or at least that's what it's supposed to do. But due to a bug, it doesn't affect your defense at all. So you just get the attack buff, and that works. Well, so far, the Guardian Rings haven't been working too well for me here. Well, hopefully we'll get something before this fight is over. This guy only has, I think, 400 HP, so it's not nothing too extraordinary. Wow, I'm getting pretty unlucky with these hits here. Holy cow! But unfortunately, since I haven't reached level 22, I don't have access to my fourth death blow. So this is the best that I can do there. Okay, one more round. Ought to do. And that ought to give Bart a decent amount. 
amount of time to start working his way through the sewers. Now, fortunately, after each round of the tournament, we get a chance to adjust our equipment, heal up, and all that good stuff. So, yeah, let's just use that. Let's see. Use one of those Aquasols. That really bothers my OCD, but I'm not going to do anything about it. And, okay, we're good there. So now we're going to switch over to BART and work our way through the sewers here. There's a very good map of the sewers on GameFAQs, if you're interested. It can be... There's a lot of branching paths throughout the whole thing, and there's only four treasures for us to find around here. So now, as you can see, I'm not swimming as fast as I was before, because the current changes from time to time, for some godforsaken reason. So, even though I'm moving very, very slowly at this point, you still want to keep on trying to swim so you don't lose your ground there. And then, yeah, like they were saying, or like the kid was saying there, you uh, come in here from the sewers, you can get into the fish tank, boom, we get our gold. Hooray! But how does that even work? Shouldn't the water from the fish tank be going all the way down into the sewers? I don't know. I I don't know. But in any case, we go over here, we get treasure number two. So far, I've been pretty lucky with the currents pushing me back a little bit. So now what I want to do is once I get past like these arches, I want to hug the walls so that way if I get caught by a really, really powerful current, I'll be stuck on the arch there. But hopefully it won't come to that. And by the way, uh, I'm probably going to have to split this episode up into a couple parts just because it's going to be a while before I get to a save point. But we'll see how things work. Okay, hold on. I want to check something here. Okay, we are going in the right direction. Good. Let's see. I usually don't get the third treasure before the next round of the tournament. And, okay. Well, there we are. Okay, now, against Big Joe, I actually do want to use uh, Iron Valor against him. Because he's actually got quite a bit of HP. He's got uh, 777 HP. And he can also heal. So you want to watch out for that. They're right. Okay, so same thing as previous battle. I'm just going to deal more damage because I'm actually fully buffed up. So yeah, it'll probably take me five or six rounds to get through this. That should be fine. I actually got a little farther with Bart than I expected to. But yeah, this round of the tournament is the only one where I recommend actually uh, buffing up here. Now, as you can see, the real danger from the fight is not Big Joe, but the fan. And the fans, they can deal, yeah, as you can see, a lot more damage than Big Joe can by himself there. The fans can also heal Joe for about as much HP as damage I can deal with my best death lane here. So you want to watch out for that. fans attack me one more time, I might actually need to heal mid-battle, but I should be fine. 
Aha! Got him. Well, I got pretty lucky with them not bothering to heal him. But yeah, the fans are the real threat, not just for the damage, but also the healing. But all right. So for winning that round of the tournament, well, we get a new piece of armor. So I want to give that to Faye now. That's a little stronger than the one that Bart came with there. And oof, I almost pressed the circle button again. I might have accidentally... Yeah, let's heal up all the way to the max. That ought to be good. I might have almost canceled out of the menu there without having everything finished up yet. Okay, I'm trying to get my bearings. Okay, I know where we are. But yeah, we're doing really good going through the sewers here. Unfortunately, the trip back is slow. <laughs> Basically, I, I got the treasures on the right branch of the sewers, and now I need to go back and take the left branch in order to get the last of the treasures. Not to mention, the left branch is the one that actually goes to the castle there. So any branching paths that you see me not taking, that's because there's nothing there. So don't worry about it. But yeah, this place isn't quite as mazy as it might appear to be at first. And always hold down the circle button while you're swimming. Now you see how Bart's kind of caught on that arch there during the well, the upswing of the flow of the water there. So that's why I was telling, saying earlier why you want to try to hug the walls either way so that way you can kind of get caught on that. Another thing you could do is, well, when we have... Well, hold on. Let me get this first. Not a little better healing item. Awesome. But let's see. When you have an intersection where you got two paths for the flow of water to go, you can kind of get caught on the corner of one of them. But that's not going to work here. So you see how there's this curve in the path there? And if you just stay there, you'll the current won't be able to drag you to the left as long as you hang on here. But you can also do the same thing if you're at an intersection and you got the flow of water going in two directions. And I think the game kind of gets confused which way to push you. So you just kind of get caught or stuck in place so you don't lose any ground or, well, water, whatever, like that. But all right, so we got all the treasure in the sewers here. All we need to do is just get inside the castle. And let's see. Okay, so here's the end of the place. Hopefully I can... Damn it. I was going to say, hopefully I can get through the arch before the stream picks up. But now, now... Yeah, the, the w flow of water is really strong when you get closer to the castle here. So you just got to kind of hang out in place here with the water going in multiple directions like that. Alright, so, let's see, with... Is that a... Girl? I can't tell what gender that fighter is, but... Okay, so let's see, with this one, I'm just going to stick with my death blows. Let's see, Scud... Yeah, only has 300 HP. Scud has a lot of evasion, though, but with death blows, that's not really a problem. Yeah, so she can poison you, but that's not really worth worrying about. She can also heal herself, so you want to... Yeah. That's... Well, that undid all the work I did there. Sometimes I can get lucky and get through the fight, 
but it actually might be a bit of a good thing that Scud is healing. Because Bart's already at the castle now. I'm actually far enough in the tournament where it's probably good that I'm at, like, the third round of the tournament. So that way I've got more of the guards' attention. And they'll leave their posts. Because if Bart gets into the castle before... Faye gets, like, a couple rounds into the tournament, there'll be guards everywhere, which is great for experience, but not so much for, you know, getting things done. Okay, now hold up with Bart. So, oh, wait, no, I gotta change my equipment around a little bit. Okay, so for this next part, let's see. I'm gonna equip an anti ether Stone because the next battle is going to have some ether attacks, so we want to be able to prepare against it. But if you don't have it, if you didn't remove it from Ellie earlier, it's not a big deal. But hopefully I can uh, get up to the end here. Now, it's kind of hard to see, but up top there, there's a floodgate there. And you just want to kind of hang out here for a little bit until it all moves all the way up, and then we'll be able to get into the castle. And then everything will be fine. Then we won't have to worry about the flow of water anymore. But all right. Okay, we made it into the castle there. So, yeah, let's get out of there. Well, I made it here a little quicker than I thought I would. All right. But can Faye win the tournament in the Abe? Find out next time on Let's Play Xenogear. This is H.C. Babel, signing off. Have a good day!